Well, good morning. Welcome to Sunrise with Pastor Hayton here on a Monday in July. I'm thankful today that I have a privilege again of sharing just a few minutes with those that I love so much. And uh, I don't know who else watching this video, of course, but I know that whoever you are, I have a love for you, and I hope that you have a love for me as well. You can find something to like about me, surely. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about whether we love each other or not. As Christians, we're supposed to love one another. The fact is, Jesus said, By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, because you love one another. So if you want to make it to heaven, call yourself a disciple of Christ, you've got to love me. And uh, just be assured that I love people. And maybe I haven't met you personally, but I love you anyway. And I'm glad for the love that God puts in my heart for my fellow Christians and friends across the country. It's good to always share from my heart. I, I know the Bible tells us that uh, godliness with contentment is great gain. And that being true, I feel like I'm one of the wealthiest people that there is. I don't know just how godly I am. I don't know that we ever get to the place where we're godlike enough, but I do think of the matter of contentment, and I'm so thankful that I can tell you that I'm content today. Now, the Bible tells us that contentment is a wonderful thing. The Apostle Paul said, I've learned in whatsoever state I am in to be content. And as a pastor that's pastored in several different states, Missouri, Illinois, Alabama, Colorado, and that's not the kind of state that Paul was talking about, of course, but uh, still, we think about whatever state I'm in, I've learned to be content. And I just thank God that he's helped me with contentment down across the years of my ministry. Now, I know a lot of preachers have a few preacher friends, and most of my preacher friends, they, they make more money than I make. Some of them pastor more prestigious churches than what I pastor. Some of them have uh, just some advantages that, that I do not have or have not had in the years of my life and my ministry. I know that if we begin to compare ourselves to others that we're going to fall short in some areas, of course, and so I just think it's wise not to compare ourselves to others. I don't want to compare my church to someone else. I don't want to compare my preaching to someone else because I'm going to realize that with somebody I fall short and I don't like the feeling of falling short. I want to uh, just feel like that I'm content with the ministry that God has given. And I am here to tell you today that I really believe that in my heart I am content. Now my daughter Cheryl is visiting in the Bahamas this week. And being in the Bahamas, why she's enjoying the tropical uh, stuff and all. And, and I'm glad that she is enjoying all of that. And, and uh, she's enjoying it to the extent that she thinks that I ought to go over there and start a church of God holiness. Well, I wouldn't mind living on a tropical island, I suppose, but I just told her that I was quite content right where I'm at, and I just believe I'm going to stay right here as long as the Lord so leads because I'm contented. And, you know, I don't know of a pastor that I would trade places with. Some make, as I say, several times the money uh, that I make annually. Some of them, you know, pastor larger, beautiful church buildings and and uh, maybe they're privileged to pastor some of the more prestigious people of today's society. But I am so happy where I'm at. I'm so happy that God has uh, brought me to the Lighthouse Chapel. And uh, after being away for five years, well, he brought me back. And I've been back now for eight years nearly. And I'm just so happy that I'm pastor of the Lighthouse Chapel. I don't know what you may be doing or what ministry you have or... Uh, what service to the Lord you may be rendering, but be content with where God has chosen you to labor and be content with what God has chosen you to do. And uh, truly, contentment is a wonderful, wonderful feeling. I'm glad that I am perfectly content in the will of God today. I read a long time ago that outside the will of God, there is no such thing as success. And inside the will of God, there's no such thing as failure. So, you know, you can't call me a failure because I've tried to live my life inside the will of God. So I can't be a failure. Well, I just wanted to discuss that with you a little while today that I am so happy and contented with where God has chosen me to minister and people that he's given me to labor with in building the kingdom. 
a wonderful feeling to be happy and contented and fulfilled. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, bless us as we face another day, as we begin another week. We ask thee, Lord, that you keep your hand upon our lives. Help us to love and to serve thee. Help us to be a blessing to others. Help us, Lord, to reach out and make a difference in someone's life in a positive way. Too many people make a difference in people's lives, but it's in a negative way. And we want to make it in a positive way. So do bless us, Lord, as we endeavor to be a blessing to others and uh, uh, live a life that's pleasing and acceptable to God. Pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Well, thanks again for letting us share, and we'll see you tomorrow on Sunrise with Pastor Hayton. Goodbye.